in its bid to revamp Nigeria's sports sector. Nigeria's Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development is on the verge of implementing the recently approved national sports industry policy. Chief among the components of the policy is the obligation of adopting a funding model by the sports federations administered by the ministry. Speaking at a press conference organized to enlighten sports enthusiasts about the policy at the Moshud Abela National Stadium, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sandy Dari, noted that each federation has to be as astute as possible in search of funding and opportunities from the private sector for its programs and half -lit. He emphasized sport in the country has now been reclassified as business and recreation on the policy document. Dari said the sports sector is also adopting a code of conduct that prevents Nigerian half while active or retired, from indulging in crime, especially fraudulent activities. He noted with regret that at least seven half some of them retired, are being prosecuted abroad for financial crimes. This policy can attract the necessary investment to sports development. To bring it home to all of you as Secretary Generals, simple, football is now business. Basketball is now business. Table tennis, you run it now as business. You go out there, make your pitch. We've gotten the instrument with it. Tell them, country, sponsor table tennis. If you're paying FIRS two billion in taxes, bring five hundred million to sports. We will subtract it from your two billion and some other incentives. So it's important. Every sport is now business. And then you are accountable through your board. You have to be deliberate about it. So when you write us that you're going to China for table tennis and you ask us for 50 million, if in the past we approved 20 million and the ministry for you, this time we're going to give you 5 million. Because sports is now business. But also, in our code, and our ethics will have to now to make it because sports is business. Almost seven of our athletes are presently being investigated for financial crimes in the US. We're going to have a policy. The moment you are mentioned or you are part of an investigation of wire fraud, we can't mention it, but I have the document full document from the State Department. Some of them are past Nigerian athletes, some of them are current, but the law recognizes them as Nigerian athletes because that was the basis upon which they went to the US. Seven or eight of them are under investigation before the grand jury. Our code will have zero tolerance. The moment you are mentioned in anything on tour, not just job, or substance abuse. Automatically, you drop off. There's a disclaimer. He further said sports facilities across the country need a facelift, just as he highlighted the giant steps taken by Nigeria's government in collaboration with the private sector to rehabilitate major sports infrastructures in Africa's most populous nation. We have 124 sporting facilities across the country. Only about 21 of them are functional and viable. About 68 of them are dead. That means only 10, 15, 20 percent of patients covered up by grass, sick that never existed. Another 45 percent need just to be renovated and operated for. So we have three categories. And when you look at it, it's also part of the problem of our sports development. Imagine if we did not fix the Mashuda be last year. See what has happened since we fixed it. Eleven international matches and the prestige and all that comes with it. We're building two new pitches, I think they're complete now, Natural Grants and the other ones. See what we're doing with National Stadium Civilary. Coming back to life. The sports uh, hostel in Civilary, what do they call it? James Village. It has two wings. By December we're going to commission, because I insisted, let's wave this Place of, we're going to commission one wing of our 35 uh, rooms and two. 
Nigeria's federal government approved the national sports industry policy on Wednesday, 2nd November 2022, proposed by the That's Federal cool. Ministry of Youth and Sports Development to salvage the, the deplorable state of sports in the country. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohammed, Top Accolade News.